Hello friends, call me Atheist here. If you guys like my content, please spread the word and like, share and subscribe. I've made 10 videos about harms of religion, which are in Hindi. It turned out I can speak in English as well. So I want to redo all of those 10 videos again, but this time it'll be in English. The first topic that I want to talk about is misinformation. Now, religion is a major cause of misinformation. It has convinced people, without the shadow of a doubt, that God exists. I know a lot of people claim that they have seen God, but have you actually? Nobody can prove it that they've actually seen God. Nobody can demonstrate that they actually have seen God. If you want to avoid misinformation, be a skeptic. The skeptics has the power to doubt. Following science also helps in avoiding misinformation. Before misinformation, let's talk briefly about science. Science is a method of understanding the world by following systematic methodology based on evidence. That's the keyword, based on evidence. For example, ice. Somebody would have observed that the water becomes ice for the very first time and ice can become water and they thought, oh, wonder why it happens. And then they would have studied at which temperature it happens. Now, most people on this planet would know how ice is made. We may not know which temperature exactly, but everybody knows water becomes ice and ice becomes water. Someone also would have discovered how to put ice to good use and they discovered whiskey on the rocks. Also, science used the word theory differently to how normal people would use the word theory. A scientific theory is a fact of life. For example, theory of evolution. Coming back to religion. Religion is the belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods, or a person in the sky who fulfill wishes. I remember when Rona Jairus just hit India in 2020. There was a proper lockdown in the starting that people actually were told by the government to stay at home. But there were still Muslim people who wanted to go out to mosque and they would still gather which helped spread the Rona. There were Hindu people who had religious gathering at Kums Mela. Again, hello COVID, bye bye brain cells. I saw it on the news that some people were saying, I pray every day. Nothing gonna happen to me during pandemic. Maybe they were right or maybe they are no longer on this planet. All that misinformation caused a lot of misery. Some influential religious people also came out and said, drinking cow's urine help grow immunity, hence gives relief from Rona gyrus. There is no evidence for that, but people believe it. I'm sure if you search for Corona Go Corona, you'll find some hilarious content, which if you think about it, it's kind of sad. The analogy that I could think of was one rotten apple spoils the whole barrel, which fits with the Rona. And guess what? Misinformation is dangerous, can get you killed. If you think about Hanuman Chalisa, another good source of misinformation, it is said reading it gives you courage, strength and keeps the evil spirits away. Try chanting it when a dangerous animal is approaching you. Imagine a lion approaching you rapidly and try chanting Hanuman Chalisa, see if you actually get courage. By the way, I've read it when I was feeling down long long time ago, it didn't work for me and I used to believe back then. The main thing to take away from this video is what may seem obvious may not be true. Misinformation always have a hint of truth in it, but that doesn't mean it's 100% true. But it can sound believable. In some cases it does probably sound believable, but is it actually true? If you get any information from any authoritative figure, by authoritative figure I mean politicians, uh, friends that you trust or even your parents, they themselves may not know the full information and they could be spreading misinformation unknowingly or by studying on WhatsApp University. I'll give you a little example which helped me 
avoid misinformation. Now I'm not claiming I avoid all the misinformation because it's really hard to do. But say for example, if I want to buy a gadget, any gadget, for example, Apple Watch, I always go out and look for the comments which tell why Apple Watch is bad. Now I can compare and I can cite sources which one says it's bad and why and which one says good and why. So if you compare both for the motion and against the motion views, then you can kind of have a rough idea is which one sounds more rational. And of course, you can talk to other friends and tell them this is what you saw and see what they say. There is more than one way to skin a cat. Find the best one and to find the best solution possible to our problems, let us think and you can call me atheist.